me, writing is a sort of input. It, it, it sort of builds up and to the point that I have to do it. And um, perhaps when I was younger, I, I forced it more. But as I've got older, I've got so many books out. I, I always think there's just like there's enough Claire Pollard poems in the world. You know, no one no one needs me to sit down and try and write a poem a day for a month or something <laughs> you know there's plenty out there. It's the last thing my publisher needs so now I just I just wait till I feel that impulse I mean an example of you know sometimes in my life I've written a lot an example I always use is when um when the night I heard my father had died um we would me and my husband were in the middle of the night like four in the morning driving back to Bolton where I'm from and we stopped in a service stop. And while we're in the service stop, I wrote a poem in my head, which is um, in, in my book, Look, Claire, Look. Um, and I hadn't even cried yet. And I, 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 in some ways that's kind of awful. It's that chip in the heart of the writer. But in some ways that really illustrates to me how it, it is how I process things. It's literally how I process things. I can't do it any other way. It's, it's a way of, it's a way I can't sort of gain control, take something terrible and sort of gain control over it and try and make something beautiful in a way or, or or orderly at least out of it um and so I suppose it was inevitable because of that I was always going to write about the pandemic I know some people will think oh I don't want to read about the pandemic I totally understand that but I'm a person who processes stuff through literature through reading it and through writing it and I need I need that I, I need that um so that's not quite answering your question the process of writing this novel was I mean, I do think prose is different from poetry. Poetry for me is about the muse um, and I can have long fallow periods, but I just have to trust it'll come back again. Um, but prose is a bit different. I think you can turn up at the desk every day in a slightly different way. Certainly when I did my nonfiction book, which is a history of children's picture books called Fierce Bad Rabbits, I could turn up and I, I knew I could at least do some research and I might start to make that research into something. Um, and Delphi, I think that helped me actually that it, it, it's when you start to read it, it almost reads like sort of creative nonfiction or something. Because it's this academic who's writing this book about this history of oracles and prophecies. So I could turn up and always just do some research into tarot cards or practice the I Ching or something a bit. There was always something I could do, even if the words weren't flowing. So I could turn up more each day for it. 